Okay, so we're looking at the new improved version of the forecast tool, formerly called the product position tool. But this is designed to help you forecast your inventory position months in advance. So in the past, it just allowed you to look at an individual one product at a time, but actually we added quite a bit more in terms of functionality here, where now you can look at it on a per customer basis. So you can say, give me my inventory position for all products we're gonna be shipping to this customer. Um, you can do it on a vendor basis by product groupings, customer groupings, or, or vendor groupings as well. Those, those groupings are customizable, but just looking at it on a product basis, you'll see once the product is selected, you have the details of all the ventures or all the transactions associated with that, that product down below. Um, so you have the supplier, that will be the, the venture number or the, the PO and shipment number. And then you can see it's highlighted if, if it's past due, it's, there's a key up here that kind of explains it. So anything that's past due shows up in that dark gray. Um, if the shipment is more than a year out, then it shows up in that orange color, pre-allocations in red, and then final matched in green. Um, and you can hover over the status on a venture to get an idea of when that uh, shipment will arrive. So in this case, it says ETA of November 3rd, and then what the destination that it's shipping into. So this will be coming into Baltimore. So you can also filter this by any of those statuses too. So if you said, just say, I only wanna see what's coming into a particular warehouse, for example, you could do that. Um, so the, the quantities will appear in the period in which the shipment is expected to arrive. So like if you look at October, for example, we have three shipments coming in. Um, so the total inbound for October is 12,243. The total outbound for that period is, is 4,000. So our long short for that period is we're long 8,200 pounds. So meaning there's 8,200 pounds more coming in than going out. Um, but really, the, the key number here is this cumulative inventory position, meaning what will our inventory position look like at the end of October once all that is considered? Um, so we'll still have 8,000 pounds available in October, but if you look back at September, the inventory position actually dips to negative in, in that time frame. So the idea here is because we're looking several months out, hopefully you have time to communicate with suppliers to have them um, ship sooner or, you know, produce faster to, to be able to fulfill that need months in advance. Um, the other piece of this is down below, you have similar information, but all the sales related info. So the breakdown of the sales side um, by sales order or by release, the status of each of those orders, um, and then the quantities would appear in the period in which those orders are expected to be delivered. Um, and then the same sort of summary grid appears down below the sales side as well.